everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am going to do my uh, haul as far as everything that I got for Thailand and Cancun. It started off as Cancun, turned into Thailand because I needed more things for Thailand than I did for Cancun. So I'm gonna show you everything that I bought for Cancun and Thailand. And then I'm also going to show you the different outfits that I decided to put together for the trip as well as I will try on some things for you so you can kind of see it. I'm not gonna try everything on, but just some outfits that I've already planned on wearing in Thailand. And then, you know, as the trip goes on, I'll mix and match and throw some things together as, I'm, as I run out of clothes. The first thing I wanna start with is bathing suits. So I am currently nursing, and because of that, these things that are out of control today um, don't fit into any of my bathing suits. Literally, like, it's not even funny. Like, you can't, it doesn't even cover half of what I have right now. So I did have to go and buy some new bathing suits. I ended up getting all of these from Target, and I think they're really cute. So the first one I wanna show you, this is actually the first one I bought. It is a one piece. I've always wanted a one piece, but super cute. It has this little cutout over the belly. And then it just hooks in the back right here. And then the back is also cut out. And it has this really beautiful, colorful detailing, kind of um, tribal-ish looking, or I guess maybe like New Mexico. I don't know what um, style that's considered, but it's very, very cute. In the colors, it's like pink and purple and red and turquoise. It's really pretty, I love those colors. And then what I did is, I didn't like where it was hitting me on the hips. It was hitting me too low, and at the time, I was eight pounds heavier when I bought it. So it was kind of digging into my thigh fat, and I didn't like that. So I actually had my mom, who is amazing at sewing, cinch it up the side. So she ruched it. I guess that's the term. So it actually comes up right about here, kind of like the way... Uh, the uh, lifeguards in Baywatch wore their bathing suits. So it's a lot more 90s style, which I really like, and I think that's really in right now. So that's the first bathing suit I got, and this will probably be worn after I've had a few days of eating that I need to hide my, my food baby. The next bathing suit I got, this I actually ordered based on the top, which is so cute on, and I'll show you this on, but it's just um, a cup top, and then it hooks in the back, it has, it goes over the, the neck like a halter. And then it hooks in the back in two separate places. So you end up having like a little cutout in the back, but it kind of hits a little bit lower. So it looks really cute, it almost looks like, um, like a crop top. So that right there, and then these are the bottoms that came with it. I would have probably gone with different bottoms, um, but the fabric's extremely shiny and I just didn't know how that would look, um, having a really, really shiny top and then um, a not shiny bottom. So I just went with the same bottoms. The next bathing suit I got could probably match with this top if I decided to, but here's the top. It's just a little um, bandeau that has, um, that does have the straps because I will need those. And it just uh, comes together in the front with a little bow. This barely, this is a large and it barely covers my breastuses, but you know, it is what it is. You, you, you do what you can. And then these are the bottoms that go with it. These actually aren't the bottoms that uh, go with the bathing suit. These are the bottoms I bought to go with the bathing suit because the other bottoms were high-waisted. And I think at the time when I bought it, I was still a little heavier, and I just felt like I looked pregnant in them, even though I probably didn't. I just felt I did, so I didn't like it. So I went and searched and found these bottoms there. It's a floral design, but as you can see, it has this color in it, and it also has the, the burgundy color in it. So I could probably get away with wearing it with both tops, and then it's ruched up the butt, so it makes the but look very flattering. So those are the three bathing suits I got for um, Thailand and Cancun. And I'm hoping, I tried to go not 
too big on the top like with the one top I probably could have gotten an extra large but I want to still be able to wear it when I'm not nursing so I'm hoping that it'll fit this one piece is a little tight on me but you know we'll, we'll make it work with the boobies and sorry I'm feeling this when Tenley is awake because I need I have a lot to do today so I got stuff that I need to do while they're napping so sorry for all the distractions so the next thing I got is a baseball hat I wanted something that I could just throw on when I'm walking around the day I won't wear this on the boat I doubt I have a nice big Sun hat that I got a few years back but I got this because it just the color is just really flattering on my skin and it kind of goes with with everything so just a baseball hat something that I can just throw on and keep the Sun out of my eyes nothing nothing special but I also I got this from Target as well and Tenley is enjoying wearing it right now while she has a slight meltdown okay so the next thing I want to show you are all my cover-ups I got these cover-ups I have this white one this is also from Target. Most of the stuff I got is from Target. Um, it just comes and ties together in the front. It's really cute. I'll probably wear this with the white bathing suit. It has a little tie and then the back has a cutout. But it's just really pretty and just something easy to throw over. And then the next cover up I got, also from Target, is this striped just black and white striped long it looks like a long t-shirt and it has this pretty detailing all over it little where you can kind of see through it's not that flattering on the model on the website but I mean it kind of makes you look a little bigger as is but whatever you know it's going over a bathing suit I really at this point I really don't care I think my boobs make everything look bigger and then this I could wear with a bathing suit it's just a little over button up t-shirt black or uh, kind of like gray and white striped a dark dark gray light black I could wear this over a bathing suit but most likely I will just throw it over a tank top with my shorts um, when we're going walking through town so I can be a little bit more conservative uh, because Thailand is a lot more conservative they typically like your shoulders covered and your knees covered and I mean I'm not going to that extent but I will especially when we go to the temples I will cover up and then I got these and I absolutely love these and they are long black pants they're kind of a linen fabric but they're a little they're different than that it's, it's not linen it's not like rayon or something I don't know yeah, it's rayon and polyester, but they have the entire thing slits up the side. So both legs slit up. It ties around the waist. Super cute, high-waisted, looks absolutely adorable with that um, burgundy magenta bathing suit top. And because it is, I don't know if you can see, because it is see-through, I actually ended up getting some full coverage granny panties from Victoria's Secret, really nice black ones that I will probably throw on underneath these if I were to wear this out to dinner. Um, we will see. We'll see how, if we go to dinner in the restaurant or in the hotel, something like that, I'll probably do this. If we were to go out on the town and me walking around, especially in Bangkok, I probably would not wear this. Maybe in Phuket I could get away with it because it is a little bit more beachy and depending on how dark the lighting is if it's really dark, maybe Maybe they won't notice so we'll see we'll see what the vibe is like But that would look really cute just to throw on at lunchtime over the bathing suit Now this is from Lulu's and we do have one night where we are dressing really nice and We're all supposed to wear like specific colors so um, white is one of the colors. So this is just a little crisscross. I don't know if you can see that. The lighting's really difficult to see. 
see, okay. So this is just a little crisscross crop top, really nice. Like I said, it's from Lulu's. And it goes with this skirt. And I will try this on for you guys. So my midriff shows just a little bit. And it hits me at the right place to where it's very flattering and it holds my boobies in, which is always a plus. And it looks like there's, there's a piece of, I just noticed this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a piece of, can you see that? There's a piece of black thread inside. I don't know how I'm gonna get that out. We'll see. I really don't wanna have to open it up and then sew it back up. That's, that's not cool, Lulu. I'm not happy about that, but at this point, I don't have time to send you back, so we will see. So the next thing I got is a pair of shorts. These are just black um, ripped cut up pairs of shorts. These are also from Target. Funny story about these is I went into the dressing room to try on a bunch of clothes and these were already sitting in there. They were my size and I tried them on, they fit perfectly and they were $4. So I bought them. So these were, uh, these were shorts from heaven <laughs> sent to bless me. So I got those black shorts and then I got these pink um, cuffed shorts and they're a little high-waisted, really flattering on. They're not too short. I think they say they're like four inches, four or five inches. So they're really not that short. So I feel very comfortable wearing these around the city, going sightseeing. And they're extremely comfortable. They're a little stretchy. I really like them. So those are the two pairs of shorts that I bought. And now on to tops. This top right here I got from Forever 21. And this will look super cute with either the black shorts or the, the black pants. And it just ties around the waist. And then it, it's just a low V-neck. It kind, kind of very similar style to the white top that I have that goes with that white skirt from Lulu's. So I have that and it's this mustardy yellow, which is really popular right now that took me probably like a year to get used to. My mother bought Tenley a dress in that color and I put her in it and I thought she looked so beautiful in it. So I jumped on the bandwagon. Uh, and then these two tops, these are body suits that I got from Forever 21. This one I love. You can actually loosen this to show more cleavage or keep it tight to show less. Really, really thick fabric, like super flattering, extremely flattering. And then I also got this gray one that snaps up in the front. Um, extremely flattering as well. And they both snap at the bottom so you can easily go to the restroom when you wear them. And I got these also from Forever 21. And then I got just an, a t-shirt from Target. T-shirt with a pocket, just something that I can throw on with the pink shorts or the black shorts. Um, just really soft. <laughs> these were only like $8, so I grabbed a few of them, but I think I might only be bringing the white one. I got a white one and the gray one. So here's the white one. So we'll see. And then I also got this from Target. This is a little white crop top, which is actually super cute. It hits me at just the right spot on my belly that I feel sexy. So I don't feel fat. I feel sexy, even though I feel curvy. Um, Sometimes they hit you in a spot where it doesn't really make it look like you have a waist. This makes me look like I have a waist. I don't know how to explain it. It just hits me at the right spot. And then we're also going to be in Thailand on St. Patty's Day, so I've just picked this up. Whiskey business, you know, don't want to get pinched or anything. And this is also from Target. Like I said, mostly everything is from Target. Um, and then I got a few things for, for Forever 21. I wasn't trying to spend a fortune. So, all right, let me show you. I got two pairs of sunglasses because I'm not bringing my nice sunglasses to Thailand because I don't want them to get stolen or lost or 
anything. So I got two pairs of sunglasses from Nordstrom's. And the first pair are just these really big black kind of square with a little gold detailing on the side. Um, they're just their Brass Plum brand, so they were $16 each, I believe. But they're, they're the shape of my Gucci's, so I was just like, perfect. I know this shape looks good on me. Uh, it's really hard to find cheap sunglasses that look really expensive, so I'm so glad that I found these from Nordstrom's, and hopefully Tenley doesn't break them, but if she does, at least they're not my really nice ones. So I got these. And then these are kind of fun. They're rose gold. I think you either love them or you hate them. And sometimes when I put them on, I love them or I hate them. But they're very like Top Gun-ish. They look like Ray-Bans, but I feel like they're a little bit like fancier. So we'll see. I was just like, you know, I wanted something like this for a while and I found them and I liked them and they looked good. So I got them, but they're rose gold. Again, BP. Um, BP brand, $16. They do change the look of everything because it is rose gold. So everything turns pink when you're looking through them which is a little trippy. And I feel like they're really hard to like see details, but that could just be me getting old and I'm having a hard time seeing. <laughs> and I'm not even that old. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I got, and this was, I've been looking for a pair of shoes that I can kind of wear with anything for a long time. I have a pair of white wedges that with a wooden heel that I had for 10 years and I pretty much have worn them to the ground. I've, I've super glued them a few times. They're Steve Madden, so Steve Madden is always a great brand to go with if you don't want something too expensive that will last because like I've said, I've had them for 10 years and they're still going. They're just a little glued. But I found these and my whole thing was I wanted to wear a pair of shoes. I wanted to bring a pair of heels and only one pair of heels, and a pair of heels that I could wear with everything. And I didn't have that. So I went searching and I found these on Steve Madden. They are cork with a clear, if you can see that, a clear, um, whatever you call it, okay, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, it's they're really easy to walk in. They look really high, but they're not, it's not that bad. They seem to be very comfortable. I've worn them a couple times, but they literally will go with everything. And it's one of those things, like I didn't want to spend all this money and these were $80 and I was able to get 20% off by getting them online, but they're really cute. They wrap around the ankle. But when you find something that you can pretty much wear with anything, you have to go for it. And like I've said, I've been working, looking for years, like a few years, maybe three, for a pair of shoes like this. And when I finally found it, I had to get it. So I got these shoes, which I will be able to wear with anything, anything. I can wear them with anything. <laughs> okay, and I also got a pair of walking shoes. <laughs> the only comfortable shoes I have are my white tennis shoes and those would just get destroyed there they get so filthy so I went and got these from Target they look like the Steve Madden ones just a, a um, quilted quilted front and I put these in there so that they're more comfortable oh okay mama yeah baby mama oh, I'm my hair oh that hurt so I got those <laughs> And then I got one really nerdy thing. So I got this, it's a money money bag. It's on Amazon, but it has the front pocket right here. And then it has the other pocket, which has a little bit of separation pockets inside. And then it comes with these little things to put over your credit cards so that people can't scan your credit card when, it's, when they're walking by you. I didn't know that was a thing, it doesn't surprise me. So I got that and then it also has a, a pocket 
in the back, but what you do is you either, you put this around your waist. Here, I'll show you. So you put this around your waist. And if anyone has seen Euro Trip, this is basically the same thing, except him, his was like so much cooler. So you put this around your waist, like I've said three times already, and then you just put your shirt over it. Now, obviously, if you have stuff in there, you're, it's gonna show. You can do it that way, or you can do it like this way or something. You can do it obviously under under your shirt. I mean, I guess you could wear this over your clothes too if you really want to. I, I assume this would be extremely difficult to steal if it's on you like this, but you can also wear it like this. So, you know, I mean, this is really, we're only gonna be doing this when we're going sightseeing um, because I don't want to, I will not be taking a purse and this will just be enough for my my cell phone and I could probably money maybe even fit my sunglasses in here depending on like I could put my sunglasses back here or something uh, Jake will be bringing a backpack that we can put waters in but his has like his attaches in the front so I mean if anyone tried to steal it they're most likely not going to so we just keep you just keep everything outside of the out side pockets you put everything inside and you make it really hard for them or make it really obvious if they were trying to. So that's pretty much it. I will show you the jewelry right now. All right, so I need to hurry because she's coming. Okay, so I got this really pretty bracelet. It's gold and colorful. Um, I don't know how long it'll last. Don't know if it'll last in the water, but it's really pretty. It was like a few dollars from Forever 21. And then I got these cute rose gold hoop earrings right there, which hoops are so in right now, again. So they're really pretty, they're fun. And then I got a few necklaces to wear with different tops. So I got a really short one. So I got a really short one. This is almost like a choker, but it has several chains on it. It's really pretty. And then I got this nice long one, which is so flattering, especially with a, a V-neck. Just hits you at the right spots. Just like, hello boobies, nice to meet you. Check me out. They're just like, so pretty. And then I got this one. This is just a single chain. If I want something a little bit more casual, it's really pretty. It's just, um, it's kind of like a floral circle, or I don't know what those are. They're like lotuses or something. It almost looks like a lotus. And then I got a few stud earrings. I'll just show you one each one and Tenley's back. So she's probably gonna destroy my jewelry right now. All right, so I think all the studs I pretty much got from Target except for one pair. And then everything else, the necklaces, the bracelet and the um, hoop earrings are from Forever 21. So the first thing, these are from Lulu's. These are, oh, I'm really taking a chance here, putting all that stuff down. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but it's just a, it's just a strip of little crystals, diamonds, but they're not real. Rose gold. So this is super, super cute. If you could probably see it a little bit better like that. So I got that. And then these you'll probably, these are also rose gold, just a brushed rose gold. They're really hard to see. Brushed rose gold, just little circles. Those are super cute as well. And then I got a couple studs because I did, I do have this hole right here. So I wanted to do a couple studs when I wore like my hoops or something. 
So I got this one right here, which is a moon. You can't even, you cannot see this. The little moon. And then I got this one right here, which is a little star. And then this one as well, which is a little diamond with gold. The jewelry that I own is silver, so, um, or white gold. So I wanted to get some gold to go with yellow gold or rose gold to go with. That's just kind of the, the color that I'm, I'm really liking right now. Oh, and then I got this beauty, like $20 from Macy's. And this will be my wedding ring that I will be bringing with me because I'm not bringing my actual wedding ring. So I will be wearing this. And then when we go out on the town, I will most likely leave this in the hotel room. This will just be for when we go to dinner and stuff somewhere nice, but so that I can still have a nice, you know, ring on my finger and not not feel naked because I've been wearing this thing for 11 years, I think. So, all right, so that's pretty much that's pretty much it. That's everything that I got for the trip. Mom? This is Mommy's. Oh, that's Mommy's too. You want to go down for a nap? No. no. Oh, you want a snack? A snack. You just had lunch. One little snack. Okay, I gotta go get her a snack. But I will show you everything that I decided to put together just to give you an idea of, you know, how many outfits I'm trying to make out of just these clothes. So I will be wearing things multiple times because I'm attempting to do just to carry on. Comment below on what you thought about my outfit ideas. If you have any tips, if any of you have ever been to Thailand or Cancun, if you have any tips coming up, I will do a video of what's in my suitcase, more of like once it's packed, if I made it all into a carry-on, um, and then also what's in my what's in my uh, actual like my carry-on backpack and stuff, my the essentials that I bring for when I travel. So that will be coming up within the next couple of weeks. It'll probably post when I'm in Thailand. All right, guys. So uh, hope you enjoy this and I will see you when I get back. Bye, guys.